As we consider state changes, we will revisit the concepts of delta H, or enthalpy, also known as heat of reaction, and delta S, or entropy, also considered to be disorder. We will be able to use our everyday experience to help us predict the signs of both entropy and enthalpy for state changes. For example, we know from our everyday experience that melting is an endothermic process. The solid state molecules absorb heat, and that energy is converted to the kinetic energy of the liquid molecules. We can use water as an example, and one mole of ice requires 6.02 kilojoules of heat to completely melt to liquid water. Since freezing is the opposite process of melting, it is exothermic. The kinetic energy of the molecules is converted to heat as the liquid molecules transform to the solid state. As an example, when one mole of liquid water freezes, 6.02 kilojoules of heat is released. When a substance melts, it is always an endothermic process, and the products have higher potential energy than the reactants, so the heat flow isn't favored. What is favored for melting is the increase in entropy. When one mole of ice melts, as an example, the energy increases by 22 joules per Kelvin. Increasing entropy makes melting of water favorable when the temperature is de zero degrees Celsius or above. Although freezing is an exothermic process and thus the heat flow is favored, it decreases entropy as the molecules move less and become more ordered in the solid state. So this process is only favored at temperatures of zero degrees Celsius and below for water. At zero degrees Celsius, melting and freezing are in equilibrium with one another. The melting point of any substance is the temperature at which freezing and melting are in equilibrium with one another. Sometimes the melting point, or MP, is also referred to as the freezing point, or FP. The temperature at which the gas phase is in equilibrium with the liquid phase is known as the boiling point, or BP. We often don't see the equilibrium between liquid water and water vapor because the water vapor usually escapes the system. We remember from chapter one that melting points and boiling points are important physical properties of chemicals.